Welcome to this week's story time. I'm Reverend Elizabeth and I am very glad to be with you. We will start by lighting our candle. This week I have a scented candle, black cherry. It seems somehow fitting for this season of blooming and fruitfulness and spring. It's everything starting to get to be so beautiful. So we'll light our candle. Unfortunately, the smell does not travel through the camera. So you'll just have to trust me. Then we'll get ready for our story. And I have my special singing bowl for us today. So I will begin by making some beautiful music with this and we'll try to listen till the end while we take some deep breaths. with the singing bowl, but that is okay. So my story for today is a sort of Easter story, maybe in kind of a non-traditional way, or in sort of an obvious way immediately, but it takes a little while to think of the deeper meaning. So today we're reading one of my very favorite books that I love to read, and my daughter Maya is gonna make an appearance as we sort of think this one through too. It's called Guess How Much I Love You, and it's written by Sam McBratney, illustrated by Anita Jerome. Guess How Much I Love You. Little Nut Brown Hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that Big Nut Brown Hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. This much, said Little Nut Brown Hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Big Nut Brown Hair had even longer arms, but I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very high, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then Nut Brown Hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him up over his head. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair, I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane, as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you across the river and over those hills, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That's very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes, out into the big, dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him good night. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. The end. I love that story. I love it because it brings back so many happy memories reading that story to my kids, but I love it also because of that reminder that this is how it works with God too that the love that we feel for God feels big, feels important, but the love that God has for us is even more than that. So if you can sink into that realization of God's incredible, deep, everlasting love for you, that is a day worthwhile.
So now we will gather up this time together with a prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for this beautiful season that we're in, for things blooming and fresh, for the wonder in the world that is a reminder of you and your creation of all beings and how you created each one of us and you call us by name and you love us with your everlasting love that you hold for each one of your beloved children. We give you thanks for the joy and the wonder and the awesomeness of your creation and for the deepness of our calling to be your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we'll say together our children's creed. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit, too, calls to teach us what to do. Amen. And then join in singing along with Mr. Eric in our children's prayer. For this new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for every gift your goodness sends, we thank you, gracious Lord. Amen. We thank you, gracious Lord. Amen. And now, we will change the light. Take a little whiff first. God is with us everywhere we go, all the time. Just like the smoke is going out into the world, God's love surrounds us, no matter where we are. Until next time, Go into the world in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.